being tech comes with a certain kind of anxiety you know um you're worried about a lot of things your body is changing you have to be your number one fan you have to super duper believe in yourself growing older is great you you are growing you're living being tech comes with a certain kind of anxiety you know um you're worried about a lot of things your body is changing you... hi guys welcome back to my channel this is dami inspire youtube channel on this channel we talk about everything lifestyle everything inspirational and everything personal development welcome guys people so today i, I just thought i should share some tips or things to look out for when you're about to turn 30 like guys seriously like being in my 30s like a lot of things have changed mindset has changed like just life generally has changed being in my 30s so i just want to share some things to look out for when you're about to eat that milestone of being 30 like especially for women being 30 comes to a certain kind of anxiety you know um you're worried about a lot of things your body is changing you want to settle down not settle down you want to settle up you want to get married you are worried are you in the right job are you like passionate about what you're doing are you happy are you supposed to be in a better place like you begin to worry a lot you begin to compare yourself with with other people you begin to compare your achievements with the achievements of other people as well so there's just this thing that you just get nervous when you're about to eat 30 and i'm just here to tell you sis there is nothing to worry about embrace your 30s okay welcome baby girl to being 30. <laughs> so first and first stop worrying about your age it's just numbers girl it's just numbers stop worrying about your age the anxiety oh god i'm getting old i'm adding weight i am going to be 30 before you know i'm 35 stop worrying about your age they're just numbers or it's just numbers because the more you begin to focus on your age the more anxious you're going to get and the more you are not being like you're not pointing your direction or focusing on what you are supposed to focus on being 30 is great growing older is great you you are growing you're living right god created us to grow to grow in numbers to multiply right so look forward to it and don't see it as a burden because the more you see it as a burden you're growing older you are adding more zeros <laughs> to your age the more anxious you become and you begin to focus on what you do not have rather than focusing on what you have right so when you look at it as it's just numbers right then you are approaching this new milestone or this new decade with a different perspective with a different mindset you are approaching 30s with this mindset of gratitude and you are excited about it because you are looking forward to the good things that you can achieve and you're looking forward to implementing all that you have learned in your 20s right you have an opportunity you have another opportunity to do better so the first thing change your mindset about being 30 you don't need to worry about it don't be anxious about it being 30 is just another number adding to your age and that means you have another opportunity to improve on your life to do better than how you were yesterday so sis embrace being 30s is just the numbers okay secondly ladies this is the right time to start doing some reflections about your life i'm saying do not be anxious but at the same time you need to sit back and take account of your life take account of every single thing that you've done every you know step step that you've taken 
when you had sense since when you had sense like give account of your life give account of everything that you have done so far up till now that you are 30 right this is time for deep reflections on your life right who are you what's your character who do you want to be in the future who are you looking up to what do you want to achieve in the next decade right look at where you're coming from and where you plan to go to and that, that would lead you to what meticulous planning and strategy and also just like looking for things that you can let go of and things that you can imbibe right so all this while you've been in your 20s you have had this stubborn 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 character you are super stubborn and everybody tells you that you are stubborn or you have this toxic behavior and everybody keeps telling you that you have this toxic behavior and for some reason everybody has just been living cool with you with this your behavior tolerating you they're looking at it at oh youthful exuberant she's gonna change she's gonna improve this is the time to improve on those bad habits that you have this is the time for you to reflect so the next point on my list is gratitude like you need to be grateful so as you are reflecting on your life right reflecting on the journey so far it should lead you to a point of gratitude girl it could have been worse but god has been faithful and god has kept you all this while so you should be grateful for all your wins whether it's small or big whether you think it's big or small you need to be grateful you are just appreciative of the life that you have you are appreciative of what god has done in your life and you are appreciative because you know that it's going to do so much more in the coming years right so you need to be grateful because being grateful is a great place to be and it's a great place to 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 begin to see miracles and testimonies in those areas that you want to change or improve on so literally you are of course planning and numbering your days and seeing all the actions that you need to take but at the same time you're leaving it up to god and thanking god and trusting god and you'll be like god i'm trusting you with these goals these achievements and all these plans that i want to achieve in the next decade i'm trusting you and i'm grateful because i know that each and every one of my goals are going to come to pass with your help remember that we are literally nothing of ourselves and we cannot do all these things for of ourselves right he's the one that would give you the strength and give you the grace to be able to accomplish all these things and he's the one that even gives you all those good thoughts that you have for yourself and you know that you should trust your father that your father has his plans for you are of good and not of evil so you should trust him and be grateful that as you are entering this new milestone this 30 god definitely has your back and god god has your back like your back true as in true and true true and true god has your back and god is going with you so when you have this mindset and this conviction you are not going to be anxious and the fear of uncertainty is not going to come in but you're going to trust the lord and also you're going to take actions as well so you see that you're kind of on the right track and you're changing your entire mindset and preparing you for the big milestone ahead welcome to your three to your 30s baby welcome to your 30s baby yes ladies the next on my list this is super important you have to be your number one fan you have to super duper believe in yourself believe in things that you can achieve this is the time to tie your um oshuka your level of hard work or commitment to your work to things that you are passionate about all the dreams that you had in your 20s you did not achieve girl you can achieve them in your 30s even in your 40s you are not going to give up on any dream this is the time remember when i said you should list out things write out your reflections all the goals that you have set or the ones you have pushed this is the time for you to go back and start saying i can do this i can do this i can do this and start taking actions and start doing them you need to believe in yourself you need to be your number one fan do not let yourself down you need 
to believe in yourself regardless of what has happened to you or what is happening to you or what you are facing you need to keep talking to yourself that you can do it you can achieve it and you are going to get up on your feet and you're going to move forward and you're going to make progress and you need to believe in yourself you cannot be in your 30s and be the um, timid shy girl that is not confident in herself in her ability confident in her skills or you are self-sabotaging yourself at this age you don't need it you don't need it this is where you should put on your what your cup of confidence anywhere why because nothing should even intimidate you at this age what you have seen it you've done that step. what they shattered on you they've told you no how many no's have you had in your 20s a lot of no's so getting no's in your 30s shouldn't deter you from moving forward no that should even like i will get it in if i get five no's ten no's there will be one yes waiting for me at the front so this is the time for you to like tie your what oshuka or what they call it tie your pack hard work commitment look for things that you are passionate about and run with it and go for them and make sure that you smash you smash them you smash your goals and your dreams everything that can come to life it is not too late remember the age is nothing the numbers is just numbers so it is not too late this is the right time for you to start whatever you want to start this is the right time for you to start this is the right age for you to start don't say it's too late it is never too late okay never too late all right so let's so ladies if all this were in your life or since you were a child still you had sense and you're in your 20s and you still used to say to yourself i'm not smart i'm not sharp i'm not intelligent i'm not rich i can't do it hmm. All those accumulation of the words that you've been saying to yourself. Hope you know that those words are like seeds that you are sowing, and literally, you are one way or the other reaping all the negative things that you have been saying about yourself. Remember that there is power in our tongue, and so for whatever you say, you are gonna get right so your life should be so precious to you that whatever you speak about yourself and about your life should be positive things should be good things right so if all this world in your life you have been joking about affirmations or you just talk carelessly about yourself about your life your family your situation this is the right time for you to begin to change it if you've never really been having your affirmations or you don't believe in affirmations this is the right time for you to begin to have affirmations this is the right time for you to begin to speak to yourself and speak to your life and speak to your future and when i say i speak i say speak words of power of positive thinking words of encouragement like spirit filled words like in psalms and in in singing to yourself and making melody in your heart in psalms and with hymns like positive things good things about yourself about your future what you want to see in your life where are you going to so this is the right time for you to begin to like accumulate because the bible says that when the clouds be full of rain they would empty themselves so you need to be filling up your clouds your world with the right words right so there is power in our tongue so you see people talking about manifestation and how everything they've imagined or they've said many years ago is coming to pass and come to pass these things these things are real right life is spiritual so do not talk carelessly if you've been talking carelessly in your 20s this time around you need to change it do not talk carelessly be super conscious of your communication with yourself and with people with friends around you if you're always saying oh i'm broke i'm broke i don't have money i can't do this oh i'm a failure nobody loves me nobody believes in me you are like setting up yourself for failure the more you say it, the more it's going to happen to you but if you begin to speak positive things and begin to call things to be then it will surely be okay so please take your affirmations super seriously 
in your 30s this is the right time for you to begin to shape your future for the next decade things that you want to do i want to achieve how do you want your future to be like how do you want your life to be like for the next decade right this is the right time to start okay okay ladies so the last but not the least on my list is journaling journaling like writing right so it's time for you to begin to um inculcate the habit of writing and taking down notes right so you're writing all your goals you are giving yourself like a time frame so you are able to monitor and you know know when you have ticked the box so the thing is that if you do not write you literally would most likely forget what you want to do what you want to achieve so journaling ensure that every day counts you are like how would i put it you're giving records of every activity that you do per day so what i do or and what i would advise that you do like even every day right you write your to-do list so from your to-do list you begin to set priorities right so there's to-do list daily and there's to-do list maybe like you know you've given yourself goals quarterly or monthly goals and so your to-do list daily is also going to help you in your general to-do list for the month or for the you know or for the whole year so you begin to track and see your daily achievements and this helps you track your productivity so remember in your 30s you don't have time to be wasting time on in really bad tasks or things that you should not be bothering yourself doing so you need to be doing productive things so as you are journaling you it will guide you and help you to see if you are actually involved in productive things right so because if you do not journal your day-to-day -day activities you will just see the day just go by and you are wondering what you achieved remember that initially like i mentioned you should you know write things you want to achieve when you are reflecting so if you do not journal you will just realize that you are just floating you are not keeping records of everything that you are doing so you need to journal you need to keep records of your day-to-day -day activities you need to be productive like never before in your 30s you don't have time to waste time right so of course i'm not saying you don't have time in a bad way like you're not going to make it i mean like life right maybe no it's just that the time is ticking and it's ticking fast and very very like it's ticking fast 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 and everything is just moving fast before you know it's a year two years have gone by so you need to be productive you need to be proactive and you need to just work smart right and so you need to journal and keep records of your activities and you need to be very productive so writing and taking down notes is very very important you're not going to say oh i'm not a writer it's not about you being a writer it's about you keeping records so this time of your life you need to keep records of every single thing that you do and every single thing that you get yourself involved in should be documented right document these things write about it take it like so you know that you are making progress so by the time you're coming back to review your life again you would literally can you would literally see your progress and you know you'll just be happy that oh i'm glad i wrote this down so i can monitor this right so it's important that you journal you know keep your day-to-day -day daily activities to do list make sure that they are productive get involved with projects that are productive things that you are passionate about get involved in all these things right and so this is going to help you right so um i just hope that literally with these few points of mind people I hope I've been able to convince you and not to confuse you to get excited. Get excited about your thirties. Be looking forward to your thirties. Do not be nervous. Do not worry about it. Just ensure that you have a plan. You have a focus. Your mindset is in the right place. You are full of gratitude and you are teachable you are ready to improve you're ready to let go of those things that you know are not just going to make you move forward you're ready to let them go so embrace your tactics ladies do not be anxious but nada okay thank you guys so much 
please if you have not subscribed to my channel yet kindly subscribe and click on the like button if you like this content and please you can comment at the comment section or in the comment section your thoughts or if you have anything you feel like i should talk about please put it in the comment section and um, please tell a friend to tell a friend about that means my youtube channel till i see you next time thank you so much bye love you